Paul, very warm welcome to you. We are going to jump straight into talking about the use of a continual glucose monitor. When and how would we use one? Look, uh, this has been an absolute godsend ever since we've been able to have this technology widely available. So it's fantastic for anybody who's concerned about their metabolic health and especially for people with diabetes. So if we think about diabetes, the problem is that your blood sugar level is too high and almost every side effect that's associated with diabetes is due to the elevated sugar. So you can have diabetes, but if we can find a way to keep your sugar level flat without spikes, then you need not get the side effects of diabetes, which are protein, there's heaps of them. You know, risk of heart disease, risk of stroke, you know, the most common cause of renal failure putting people on dialysis in Australia, risk of amputations and um, gangrene in your limbs. So this is something that's actually really, really important. And the continuous glucose monitor gives us a fantastic tool to identify what foods are causing spikes in somebody's blood sugar levels. So there's a, a couple of different models now available. There's one which is most common and it simply sticks onto the back of your arm. It's got a tiny little needle that sits in, uh, breaks the skin and it measures what we call the interstitial fluid for the amount of glucose in it. And then on talking to your phone wirelessly or to a reader, we get real time measurements showing exactly what your blood sugar is. And if you then tabulate what these blood sugar levels are and compare it to a food diary, you can see whenever the, the sugar comes up off the ground, you can say, oh, perhaps I shouldn't have had the toast with jam for breakfast. Um, but when I see the next day I have a plate of bacon and eggs cooked in butter, the sugar doesn't rise at all. So you can use this for immediate feedback to identify when your sugar is being elevated and consequently when you're likely to be causing yourself metabolic harm. So it's an absolutely magnificent tool. Uh, the sensors last for about two weeks and rather than a ketone meter, which some people struggle to use because the feedback you get is a little bit delayed and it requires a bit of interpretation, then the continuous glucose monitor is just punchy feedback tells you exactly what you need to know. Yes, that food was good. No, that food was not good. And easily accessible to purchase on yeah, the so, internet? So you can get them online now. So they're not available in stores at the moment, but they're certainly freely available online and a quick Google search will identify where you can get one from. It sounds like a very valuable tool. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.